welcome to another action figure review. Today we'll take a look at the SH Figure Arts Bruce Lee Yellow Track Suit from the movie Game of Death. And here we have the very nice SH Figure Arts box. Not very big, but a good packaging. The figure is clearly displayed and we can see photos of the figure on the back. Nice box here. And when the box is opened, we have the figure and the accessories safely stored as well as the instructions for the figure here. But let's get the figure all the way out of the box. And here we have the yellow tracksuit Bruce Lee from the classic movie Game of Death. And what a solid and cool figure that is. This figure is very much Bruce Lee. It looks like Bruce Lee, it feels like Bruce Lee, and it's just fun to pose around. The figure comes with a bunch of cool accessories, and we get no less than four different faces, all with the likeness of Bruce Lee and his different classic looks. And they are all very nicely painted. Then we get a total of five pairs of hands, we get fisted hands on the figure, hands for holding the weapons, open hands here, and finger pointing hands. Also good details on the hands here, and finally we get another pair of open hands. Then we have his bamboo stick and two different nunchakos. And they are flexible, as you can see here, but this one is in a fixed pose. So a lot to play around with, and the weapons fit perfectly into the weapon holding hands. For a size comparison, here we have the rather small Bruce Lee next to the SH Figure Arts Ant-Man on the left, and the Marvel Legends Demolition Man on the right. Bruce Lee's height in real life was 5 foot 7 or approximately 170 centimeters, so he was not that tall, and maybe the size here is pretty realistic. As far as I've heard, this figure is a bit taller than the previous Bruce Lee figure from SH Figure Arts. Let's proceed with how to change the different faces. Just pop the front side of the face off. It's all very easy and the new face pops right back in. Very solid and easy. And the same goes for the hands. Carefully remove one hand and push the other one back in. The pack is very small but it seems solid and most importantly it's all very effective and easy. And as mentioned before the weapons slide right into the weapon holding hands. No difficulties here, and to me it's just a sign of quality on a figure. A closer look on this Bruce Lee figure reveals, at least in my opinion, that the likeness is very good. And the faces are all nicely detailed. There are not that many details on the yellow track suit, but the details here on his arms, the pants, and especially the shoes are all good. It's Bruce Lee as he looked in the movie, and I have really nothing to complain about. Solid quality. Well, one thing that I really don't like is the letters here on his back. I could have been without them. For articulation we also get a good amount here. The head moves down like this, not so much up, but leans and turns from side to side. Then we get good arm movement here, and the arms go all the way around and up. Bend the elbow like this, and also articulation at the wrist. Then we have articulation here on the upper part of the body and also the lower part of the body. The figure leans forward like this and back like this. 
We also get good leg articulation. Legs go very far up. Not so much back, but still good. Bends at the knee like this. And finally we get feet articulation with ankle pivot and toe articulation as well. So no complaints about the articulation. You can get this figure into some really, really cool poses. So for now, I'll leave you with my opinion about Bruce Lee and then I'll sum up my review. SH Figure Arts Bruce Lee Yellow Track Suit version from Game of Death is one hell of a solid and cool figure. We get a lot of different expressions and display possibilities as well as good articulation. And also a bunch of accessories all from the movie. So if you are a fan of Bruce Lee, I see no way around this figure. Thanks a lot for watching, leave a comment or subscribe if you'd like to see more.